The Silver Palette began as a small gourmet takeout shop in New York and soon attracted a very large following by offering great food and great flavors quickly and conveniently. Next came an array of Silver Palette condiments and two acclaimed best-selling cookbooks providing all the necessary ingredients for exciting, successful entertaining. The Silver Palette embraces much more than food. It's a style and philosophy, bringing together a rich blend of entertaining ideas, informative tips, and imaginative special touches. Now on video, the Silver Palette Good Times Live, starring Silver Palette creators Julie Rosso and Sheila Lukens, and featuring a fresh, colorful, and delicious supporting cast, including asparagus, wild mushrooms, rosemary and dill, lemons, salmon, soft-shell crabs, crown roast of lamb, berries, violets, champagne, caviar, and of course, chocolate, mousse, truffles, and profiteroles. Let the silver palate make your good times come alive. Welcome to the Silver Palette Good Times Live. I'm Julie Rosso. And I'm Sheila Lukens. We'd like to share some of our ideas and experiences with you on how to get the most pleasure out of home cooking and entertaining. We believe that entertaining means good times for your guests and for you. To us, good times come from easy, quick recipes that taste unbelievably good. And get you out of the kitchen and onto the party. Every season of the year provides inspiration and an excuse for celebration. To be a successful host or hostess, the most important ingredients are your love of people and a passion for good food. That's always been our secret. Whether you're planning a special sit-down dinner, a casual buffet, a champagne and dessert party, or a weekend in the country, entertaining should be fun. The recipes and tips we'd like to share with you come from our Silver Palette experience. Well, we've been cooking and planning parties together for more than 10 years. Let us be your guides. And remember to refer to the Silver Palette recipe book that came with this cassette. As we go along, this friendly recipe book icon will show you which recipes are included in the book. Join us as we enjoy some of our favorite foods and parties. Here's, Here's to, to your, your good, good times. times. Spring is seeing the first crocuses open up. Feeling the warm sun on my face after a long winter. Taking a drive in the country. Fresh salmon. And soft shell crabs. A barbecue on the terrace with good friends. More than any other season, spring is a time of celebration. And what better way to welcome the season than by inviting friends over for a beautiful sit-down dinner. Good planning makes it all happen. If you make your dinner with special touches, it'll give your guests that special feeling. I always buy my flowers a day or two before I'm expecting guests so the flowers will have time to open fully. The menu for a spring dinner party begins in the market because of the wonderful seasonal produce. Each course should express the season in color, flavor, and texture. Fresh asparagus is one of the true joys of spring and there are so many ways to prepare it. Either snap off the tough bottoms about two-thirds of the way up or peel them so that you can eat the whole thing. This little tip makes a big difference. It will make the entire stalk tender and create a beautiful contrast of pale and dark greens in the cooked spear. Asparagus should only be cooked for a few minutes until tender yet firm. For an easy but elegant hors d'oeuvre or appetizer, serve your guests wrapped asparagus. Prosciutto, beef carpaccio, or smoked salmon wrap beautifully around asparagus. We like to serve them with a delicious dill mustard dipping sauce. Or you can let your imagination go. Our favorite asparagus wrap is smoked salmon. Salmon is so wonderful. I often serve it simply. Just slice it, paper thin, as close to serving time as possible, and have a variety of garnishes on hand. Lots of fresh lemon. Fresh black pepper. Danish pumpernickel. Salmon caviar. Sour cream. And a sprinkling of fresh dill. 
For smoked salmon, capers, chopped onion, and fresh cucumber are also naturally exciting garnishes. Then serve with champagne or chilled vodka. Absolutely! Absolutely. And don't forget to try our smoked salmon spread. It makes a wonderful appetizer for any springtime celebration. Of course, we can't talk of seafood in springtime cuisine without mentioning a seasonal treat we always look forward to, soft shell crabs. It's a mistaken notion that you have to go out to a restaurant to enjoy them. At home, they're easy to dress and cook or just have your fishmonger clean them for you. In order to prepare our Maryland soft shell crabs amandine, just keep two frying pans going, one for the crabs and one for the almonds, and they're ready in minutes. Remember to eat the whole thing. The legs are the sweetest part. They are also delicious served cold with a lemon mayonnaise. Shrimp is another springtime favorite. There's nothing quite so fresh tasting as fresh shrimp. When I clean shrimp, I leave the tail shells on. It makes the shrimp look larger and your guests can use them as little handles. For a sit-down dinner, serve our jumbo shrimp in herbed oil. The shrimp are bathed in lemon juice and olive oil, enlivened with red and yellow peppers and given a refreshing herbal aroma with basil, dill, rosemary, and thyme. Lemon is a natural complement to so many foods, perking up their flavor. We often use lemon zest or the outermost rind to give an extra accent. The zest of all citrus fruits is full of flavored oils. Our lemon chicken is one of our most delicious and popular entrees. For a heartier main course, Triple Crown Roast of Lamb will surprise and delight your guests. It's the stuffing that makes the dish. Remember to put tin foil over the edges of the bone so that the bones don't char while roasting. You can also add an extra touch by placing a grape leaf on top. When the lamb is finished, place it on a serving platter. Entwine fresh rosemary among the bones for garnish. We like to present the roast at the table and then remove it to the sideboard, scoop out the stuffing and carve the chops. Planting our garden is another great way we like to celebrate spring. Having your own garden allows you to have on hand ingredients that you just can't find in your local produce market. For example, fresh sorrel. Cultivated sorrel is more refined in taste. We like to enjoy its refreshing subtle tartness in soups, salads, and sauces. Vegetables aren't the only things to grow in your garden. Edible flowers are another wonderful treat. Violets are considered a herald of spring and a symbol of humility. Violets make a wonderful ingredient for tender salad greens or float them in May wine. We also like to buy crystallized violets to decorate cakes and pastries. The ancient Greeks thought of mushrooms as food for the gods. They appear overnight in the most mysterious places, almost magically, and they offer a delightful excuse for a springtime walk in the woods. Spring is the time for the best wild mushrooms. If you can't buy all the varieties of fresh mushrooms you're searching for, there are many varieties available in dried form. We like to reconstitute them by soaking them in chicken or beef broth, wine or Madeira, and the flavor and texture are just as good. Be sure to save the liquid for use in sauces. For a delicious wild mushroom saute, combine reconstituted mushrooms with cultivated mushrooms. Springtime means falling in love. The smell of fresh flowers. And sweet things. The sun is setting on rich pastries for dessert. Unless, of course, you're in Austria. Or at somebody's birthday party. I love to end a meal simply with just cheese and fruit. Some wonderful spring cheeses are banon, dipped in brandy, then wrapped in a chestnut leaf. Boucheron, one of the most popular goat cheeses. Croton. It also makes a great appetizer when marinated in oil, herbs, and peppercorns. Montrachet, with or without ash. New York steak goat, with herbs and peppers, with a mild but well-developed flavor. And basil torta, a mild Italian cheese flavored with layers of basil. Whoa! <laughs> that just, that I got it! Was left -handed, I got it! I got it! 
and we're particularly fond of popovers made with goat cheese. Nothing speaks of spring more eloquently than fresh fruit. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and cherries. We can hardly wait for the first glazed fruit tart. Or fresh berries can be tossed with rose water and framboise and decorated with sprigs of fresh violets. And our rhubarb ginger sauce is delicious with many fruit desserts. They're all very easy and delicious. Here's to celebrating because it's spring. Or maybe just for no better reason than we feel like it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Julie. Cheers. 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 The magic of movies, like being carried away by a great performance. Or an experience that's larger than life. Good laughs. Or watching the Oscars with friends. Remember how much fun it was to dress up in costumes when you were a kid? Why not give your friends an excuse to kid around? Rent a couple of your favorite movies and combine your creativity with your VCR to throw a video theme party. Entertaining is a lot like a performance. It's your turn to be the star, producer, director, stage manager, and critic. Good times come easily with quick recipes that your guests will love and will get you out of the kitchen and onto the party. Create a theme party around your favorite genre or a favorite movie and invite your guests to dress like those characters. Whether you feel like a romance or a rock concert, all you need for an exciting theme party are a few props, costumes, and your own creativity. And of course, good food and drink. Let your theme guide the menu you choose. For example, if you're showing Pritzi's Honor or The Godfather, match the menu with the movie by Cooking Italian. Our linguine with tomatoes and basil is delicious and very easy to make. A perfect example of short order cooking. We first had this uncooked sauce when we were guests in a beautiful home on Sardinia. The heat of the pasta warms and brings out the flavors of the tomatoes, basil and brie in a very subtle way. Plan a French film night and you can easily transport your friends across the Atlantic with our Luxembourg salad and a very appetizing charcuterie board. Luxembourg salad is made with a combination of leafy lettuces and chicory, crisp bacon lardoons, sautéed croutons, and crumbled blue cheese. There are many choices of vinaigrettes, we like to dress this salad with a rich mustard vinaigrette. When it comes to dressings, let your imagination and taste buds be your guide. And don't be afraid of dressing your salad. Just follow a few easy rules. A mix of two parts oil to one part vinegar balances the flavors. And never drown your salad. We like to place the dressing in the base of the bowl with layers of greens on top and then toss it at the table just before serving. Some of our favorite salad combinations are watercress, sliced pears, crumbled chev, and toasted hazelnuts tossed with a hazelnut oil sherry vinaigrette, endive, walnuts, and sliced apples tossed with a walnut oil and honey cider vinaigrette, and arugula, diced seeded tomatoes, and shredded smoked mozzarella tossed with a balsamic vinaigrette. If you're showing your favorite Western, guests can be cajoled into a country mood with our Wild Wild West menu. First, get things off to a sizzling start with our hot and spicy nuts. Adding a little spice before a meal stimulates the taste buds and whets the appetite. We often warm them just a bit in the oven and then serve them in something fun. For example, this cowboy hat that fits right in with the theme of the party. Our chili for our crowd recipe has already become famous in its own right, but both our vegetable and chicken chili recipes are equally lush and spicy. Our chicken chili is a breed apart. A spicy dash of cinnamon and a handful of grated chocolate give it a taste all its own. 
and vegetable chili is made with a colorful blend of ripe Italian plum tomatoes, green bell peppers, yellow onions, eggplant, chopped fresh dill, and Italian parsley. We'd never think of serving chili without frosty cold beer. Beer has moved into wine and champagne circles and has become the beverage of the 80s. Give your guests a choice of two or three different brands. We suggest a domestic light, a domestic premium, and a well-known imported beer. Remember to serve beer well chilled and offer guests a tall beer glass also chilled if possible. Always make your theme party buffets bountiful and prepare extra. Don't forget to stack your collection of trays, no matter how eclectic, near the buffet table so that guests don't have to balance plates on their knees. Over the years, we found that it's worth the extra expense to have your party properly staffed. Even if you don't hire a caterer, consider hiring someone to help you serve. When the fun begins, the party is yours to enjoy. I can't wait till it's Friday. There's nothing like homemade apple butter. A long walk in the woods. Barbecued chicken. A big cozy bed. Having guests for the weekend can be one of life's most enjoyable pleasures. It affords the opportunity to rest and relax with friends away from the usual hustle and bustle. Weekend entertaining requires planning, but it needn't be hard work. It's a delightful way to care for your friends, and if you plan ahead, you'll leave yourself plenty of time to enjoy them. Oh, Luke, slow down. <laughs> Making your guests feel welcome begins with a few extra touches. People love feeling pampered. Begin with the chocolate on their pillow in cozy flannel sheets. Leave a selection of your favorite magazines and books in your guests' rooms. Place fresh flowers near the bed and make sure there's a clock radio. And always keep extra toothbrushes, slippers, and robes on hand for your guests. Before the weekend even begins, you may want to prepare foods in foil packets that you can simply bring along and pop in the oven. Foods baked in foil retain their natural moisture and flavor. It also frees you to spend much more time with your guests. Try it with our chicken and vegetables or shrimp and prosciutto recipes. The silver envelope makes a terrific presentation when you cut them open at the table and they release their savory steam. Most of my friends who skip breakfast in the city love waking up to a Saturday morning continental breakfast. I like to spread everything out on the table. Freshly squeezed juice, fruit muffins with pots of butter and preserves, bowls of raspberries and blueberries and some delicious breakfast cheese. We all have our morning idiosyncrasies. I have one friend who can't communicate in the morning until he's had two cups of coffee. So always have coffee already brewing and extra copies of the paper on hand so everyone can have a copy of their own. The best coffee comes from freshly roasted beans. Grind them as you need them and keep the rest in the freezer. That way they'll keep up to two months. There are lots of different kinds of coffee, each with its own distinctive flavor. Colombian has a rich all-round flavor that's good by itself or blended with other beans. French or Italian roast gives a full espresso taste. Vienna roast offers a milder espresso. Jamaican Blue Mountain and High Mountain Supreme are rare and sweet tasting with fine, rich flavor and full body. Café au lait is made with equal amounts of freshly brewed strong French roast and warm milk poured into the cup simultaneously. Cappuccino is a real taste of Italy that can be made easily without a cappuccino machine by whipping warm milk in a blender for one minute to produce a bit of foam. Combine equal quantities of very strong freshly brewed Italian roast with the frothy milk. Dust with ground cinnamon and sprinkle with chocolate shavings. Ever squeeze a pineapple and wonder why you were doing it? Or knock on a melon and wait for someone to say, who's there? Here are some guidelines for finding the choicest fruits and vegetables. Lift citrus fruit, the heavier the juicier. Gently squeeze peaches, pears, plums, avocados, and tomatoes. They're ripe if they give ever so slightly. 
Thump eggplants, melons, pineapples, acorn squash, and cucumbers. They should sound solid and meaty. Take the time to select your fruits and vegetables carefully. You'll taste the difference when you do. Jumping in a pile of leaves. Big woolly sweaters. Cool, fresh air. Red cabbage and apples. For a grilled sandwich snack any time during a weekend, our melting sandwiches are a cozy, delicious treat, well worth the effort. Layer turkey breasts, avocado slices, and jalapeno jack cheese on sourdough bread, spread with butter, and grill. Or mix bacon, sliced onion, tomato, and Italian peppers. Top with cheddar cheese and broil until hot and bubbly. A relaxing weekend in the country is the perfect time for an herby garden clam bake. Our clam bake is a colorful melange of lobster, shrimp, and scallops with summer vegetables in a fragrant broth of garden herbs. It's beautifully layered, you don't have to depend on the weather, and it takes only half an hour to prepare. The exquisite complement for a clam bake is potatoes fontecchio. The truth is that every time it's made in our kitchen, it barely makes it to the store because we all love it so much. Mint is the secret behind potatoes fontecchio. Roasted new potatoes are coated simply with lots of garlic, oil, and freshly ground pepper, and then tossed with lots and lots of fresh mint. When the weather is good, there's nothing like a picnic or barbecue outdoors. If you plan a picnic, plan it completely. Leave nothing out. It's no fun to have great wine on hand, but discover you've forgotten the corkscrew. Make checklists, and don't forget that people tend to eat more when they're out of doors. We like to pre-cook many foods before grilling so they don't dry out during their lengthy cooking time over the coals, but they still taste of outdoor grilling. This is especially true of chicken, spare ribs, and whole roasts. A good rule of thumb is to pre-cook food for three-fourths of the cooking time and finish on the grill for the last fourth. Our vegetable grill makes a stunning presentation. Be sure to pick the most beautiful colors and shapes when you're selecting vegetables in the marketplace. A weekend brunch is special and easy to prepare. It always leaves your guests with lasting memories. Start your brunch with a great drink. Try a tropical breakfast colada or a cool sconce at sunrise. For a breakfast colada, blend together pineapple juice, rum, coconut cream, banana, and ice cubes until smooth. Then pour into a tall glass and garnish with a slice of lime. A sconce at sunrise is a blend of vodka, cranberry juice, and fresh orange juice, garnished with a slice of lime and a wild rose. Our sunny baked eggs are a simple way to fix delicious eggs for a few guests or for a crowd. Brie makes it extra rich and creamy. Guests are always surprised and thrilled when I take a Bismarck out of the oven and set it down on the table. This fluffy Belgian pancake is a wonderful way to begin a brunch. There's no better way to learn about wine than to stage a party where your guests can sample four or five wines in a casual setting. Turn it into a competition with a special bottle of wine stashed away as a prize for the most poetic, original, or outrageous description. 
Plan on one bottle for 12 people, and remember to serve plenty of crusty French bread. You can have several different kinds of wine tasting parties. When the weekend's done, you'll all return to your weekday lives very satisfied. And maybe a wee bit heavier. <laughs> How does it feel to be 40? Welcome home! Congratulations! Your wedding dress looks just great. He looks just like his father. You've done a great job. Happy New Year! Celebrating one of life's milestones may call for entertaining 30 or 300. These are the times for luscious and abundant buffets, your very best hors d'oeuvres, colorful drinks, exciting entrees, and scrumptious desserts. It all starts with careful planning. Get in the spirit of celebrating with creative, exciting invitations. Don't be shy. Have fun and use your imagination. Variety and contrast create great party style. Don't hesitate to combine your favorite tablecloths, serving pieces, flower bowls, and baskets, even if they aren't color and pattern coordinated. We like to contrast antique with high tech. When you think about how to serve your guests, plan your party to follow one of three natural progressions. Serve from one table. Have waiters serve finger food from trays while entrees and salads are served buffet style or serve different courses in various rooms to create the element of surprise and encourage people to circulate. Of course, getting help for a large event is crucial so that you're free to greet your guests. Crudités are a great beginning to any buffet. For an attractive presentation, serve dips in colorful vegetables that have been hollowed out. For instance, a beautiful purple cabbage. And then try our delicious avocado, green peppercorn mustard, or Roquefort dips. To give your table setting added personality, choose some unique decorations to share center stage. Try a grapevine wreath filled with a variety of fresh grapes, baskets filled with fresh herbs or dried flowers, or all white flowers mixed in vases. Valentine's Day. A special anniversary. A 40th birthday. Spotting a rainbow. A tax rebate. From the high society days of 18th century Versailles to the high tech present, Champagne has exuded celebration and sparkled with romance. Champagne toasts are traditionally reserved for weddings, but why not enjoy them more often? Champagne is wonderful by itself, or with something special added. If you're serving a Blanc de Blanc, add fresh berries, peach or strawberry puree, or a flower. Today, champagne is more affordable than ever, and many fine sparkling wines are made in America by the time-honored French method. How about a caviar splurge? It's ironic, in the 19th century, large quantities of American caviar were exported to Europe. Now our once polluted waters are again becoming clean enough to support big fish. While purists take their caviar straight on a spoon, cooking with it creates some delicious treats. Nowadays, there are so many varieties of caviar. Beluga, American Black, Press caviar, American golden, and salmon caviar. You can easily prepare a dish with lumpfish caviar, but only at the last minute. Fold into a warm, buttery omelet, roll a crepe with caviar, or toss it gently with angel hair pasta and creme fraiche. Music is essential for any celebration. It's a terrific icebreaker that enhances the mood and brings people together. Don't think your party is too small, that it's pretentious to have live music, or that you have to spend a fortune. Call a nearby music school for a good reference and get a string quartet for a nominal fee. Or ask the piano player at your favorite hangout to join your party. We have several very special hors d'oeuvres for special occasions. Grilled cheese with quattro formaggi brings together four Italian cheeses, provolone, fontina, gorgonzola, and mozzarella. 
to make the best grilled cheese sandwich in the world. Cutting the sandwiches into festive shapes gives an added touch. Our steak tartare is deliciously rich, seasoned with fresh Italian parsley, Dijon mustard, onion, and caraway seeds, then beautifully garnished. Puff pastry is available in markets, and you can use it with many exciting recipes. Pepper's Provençal never fails to become a topic of conversation. Whenever it's served, guests love it. Our cheese straws are also made with puff pastry and Parmesan cheese. They're a celebration unto themselves. Serve them in a basket and watch them disappear. Whatever the occasion, the kind of party you host is up to you. Be creative in setting a mood and planning a menu. The special joys that lead to special celebrations call for scrumptious desserts. For chocolate lovers, our chocolate truffles are the ultimate. Roll them in cocoa powder or try sprinkling them with powdered sugar, unsweetened coconut, or finely chopped nuts. Our chocolate mousse is right up there with the very best chocolate indulgences, rich and creamy. And there's one more luxurious dessert we just couldn't leave out. Profiteroles. They're a sweet finale to any celebration. Always a favorite with guests and easy to make. We fill these tender little puffs with ice cream or creme patisserie. And then we drizzle hot fudge sauce over them. Right here. Finish off with lots of whipped cream. Celebrations mark the milestones of our lives. It can be an hors d'oeuvre party, a dessert and champagne celebration, or a complete dinner buffet. Enjoy one. Enjoy them all.